Hi, my name is Jessica Tom, and I'm a senior here at Franklin College majoring in exercise science. For our research, my group members and I decided to look at yoga and the effects that yoga can have on hamstring flexibility and muscular strength of the quadricep muscles. For our study, we chose to look at out-of-season athletes. We specifically chose to look at baseball and softball players to recruit from those two teams. Our study took place over four weeks with the experimental group. There was a control group and an experimental group that our participants were placed into. Before they were placed into each group, we went, everyone went through a pretest to calculate their one rep max of leg press and then their hip measurement using a goniometer to test the flexibility of their hamstrings. The experimental group participated in the yoga sessions that were twice a week, over four weeks. They were to come to two sessions a week and between the two sessions there were 48 hours in between each session. The control group did nothing outside of their regular everyday activity and then after the four weeks was up we took a post test of all the participants using the one rep max and the goniometer to test hamstring flexibility. Our results after all the data collection showed that there were significant results in flexibility of the hamstrings and strength of the quadriceps. There was more um, strength gain in the men than there were in the females and there was more flexibility gained in the females than there were in the males. Now I have a few questions to answer. The first question, are there specific populations other than the ones you studied that could benefit from yoga? My answer to this is yes, there are other populations other than the ones that we studied. I think yoga can definitely, from our results, show that it can benefit you know, all different types of athletes as well, whether they're younger athletes, older athletes, or different sports. And yoga can also benefit individuals in their everyday activity by increasing strength and flexibility. Next question is, do you think there's a difference in the benefit from yoga when the subject performs the yoga with a practitioner in person versus if they did it at home by watching a video? Yes, I do think there is a difference in the benefit from the yoga. I think with someone leading the yoga sessions, we, we know that they're doing it the way that we want them to be doing it and how they should be doing it, whereas if they were to do it at home, they might not hold the poses for the specific amount of time that they should be held, or they might you know, do stuff in between each pose that they shouldn't be doing, or they might not do the correct or proper amount of repetitions for each pose, which could affect results. Third question, if I am a college strength trainer, why is your study important to me? Well, from the results of our study, I mean, we found strength gains and, and flexibility increase. So as a strength trainer, you know, strength and flexibility is extremely important for athletes. So that just kind of shows that yoga can actually help athletes. And as a strength trainer, I think that's something that's important to know. Fourth question, if you did this study again, what would you change and why? If we were to do this study over again, there were there are a couple of things that I would change, but the first thing I would change is just to make sure that when recruiting the participants, that the ones that sign up for our study are actually willing to participate because from what I heard after we had already started our study, which I, I couldn't help it after we had started, but there were some players that kind of felt like they were forced to do our study because the coach had mentioned something to them, which really affected our adherence rates and that was not good for our study at all. That affected the fact that we did have some dropout.